Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to have a few words in these uh, closing ceremonies. Um, on behalf of the donor, Gross Racism Charity Foundation and, and uh, our UK Trust, I would like to thank all the organizer and uh, things at Princeton University, all instructor, lecturer, and the teachers, and all the, all the students for your contribution for such um, important and uh, successful annual um, programs of the Buddhism studies. Uh, compared all of you as an expert, expert I, I might be a newcomer in this field, uh, but since I converted to Buddhism, um, I have been in, in a fortune to travel around the world to find out, to try to find out the basic three questions, is who am I and where you come from and where you're going. And I'm fortunate to have been in India, Israel, Vatican, Russia, and also um, follow my uh, master Zhang Lu, and I have the honor to follow the footstep of a Xuanzang Fa Si by exploring the Silk Road twice. Uh, actually, one is in the north uh, road and, um, and another in the south road. Here. The one amazing finding or discovery is for me is this that like most of the most of the historical site uh, which I visit remain in the world right now is whatever it's a mosque, church, or the temple. It's, it seems all related to the religion. Um, I also have a visit to all the birthplace of many important religions around the world. And it seems that it seems for me it's a different culture, different civilization, and whatever it's the past or present, all have the same question, and they all working very hard, just like us, to seeking for answer, which is what what, what a life after death. That, that therefore, in my view, I believe um, if you have opportunity to study Buddhism in your lifetime, you will be one of the luckiest people out of the seven billion people in the world. Um, I just uh, carried on some research last night, and I believe the 5% currently of the world population believe Buddhism. Um, all these believers, followers, they desperately need the guidance in this modern and uh, complex world. And I think all of you, whether it's a lecturer, teacher, professor, <laughs> um, you've been given such a burden because uh, you, are, you are the best among the best. Um, Supported by Glorious Charity Foundation in Hong Kong, we, 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 we uh, set up a UK trust. Uh, our mission is very simple, just do our everything we can in support this program, uh, it's a internationally. Uh, recently, um, I share my some, um, understanding when I listened to a lecture given by the professor Sun Yingdang, uh, who is in professor in, uh, uh, in Zhejiang University in, in, in Hangzhou. He gave me an uh, impression or opinion that the, the Buddhism was created in um, Rigaya in, in 2,500 years ago, but evolved to a promotable religion in first century when, uh, in, in Jiantolo area in India, when the, when the figure of a Buddha was created. Um, since then, the Buddhism has developed worldwide, not, not, not just simply the evolute from the original idea from the Buddha, but it's integrated by different culture and the civilization. So study Buddhism is in fact study the wisdom contributed by all mankind around the world throughout the almost over 2000 years history. And looking uh, re recently, just like um, the whole world is it's facing a coronavirus pandemic, and it is a such uncertain time. But as a Buddhism believer, I, I was not worried at all about this crisis. Um, in my view, the virus in, in whatever form has been on Earth for almost 3.4 billion years. And we are, as a mankind, has only been living in this planet on its planet, less than 4 million years for the virus, we are the newcomer of the world. Um, in, in, in reality, is we are quite um, common say our community of a shared future for mankind might be only the smallest part of their world. So in my view, the pandemic is a human rights is paying the price for their wrongdoing for centuries. 
and that the world should return to its nature, just like we should focus on our essential, our life. Um, as a Buddhist believer, I, I began meditation every day morning by reciting the Xing Jing. I think everyone knows the Xing Jing. I think um, in, in the Xing Jing, there's a very, very famous quotation, search is kong, kong ji si se. Um, I think everyone has a different interpretation for these eight characters. But uh, the actual meaning, in my understanding, I think might be everything is nothing. Nothing is everything. So we should do everything we can and work to together to help the world to have a better future. Um, on behalf of the donor, I, I think, I believe uh, all, all, you, all your hard work and the contribution will be when they highly appreciated by our next generation. Um, thank you very much for inviting me for this program and also thank you Vicky to send an email to remind me <laughs> to, uh, to do have some words. But, uh, hopefully, I can see you one day in, in Cambridge again when we first um, hold the, the program, and I hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.